All right, we're going to talk about getting the GitHub CLI working within Vim, specifically NeoVim, although not required here. And so if we look at a repo that we used in a past video about GraphQL schema design, you can see here that we have some issues and some PRs. We see here that we have issue number 51. And so uh, if I wanted to do GH issue view web and we'll just say 51 just like we're doing here okay great and then you can also just do what i have here is ghi which i'll show you is a zish function and if i pick 51 like i did before so that's just a little zich function that handles that All right if we go here and we look at pull requests we can do ghpr view and uh, let's see it is okay yeah, 49 is there in my history so that must be legit and you can see i have it opening here locally so that i can just pop through it right here in pager and if i wanted to do ghprl this ghprl is GitHub pull request list for whatever repo you happen to be in. And well, that's not good. Let's try that again. Why are we deciding right now that is the time not to connect? GHPR list. just connected two seconds ago what's the problem here gh issue list check your internet connection or github status okay well that's uh oh is this the time that uh github has decided to are we dying here no let me just go check this on a different repo here gh issue list Okay, so let's go back. Let's see if what's the. Okay, so just a little quirky there for a second. All right. So we'll just try this again. GHPR. Okay, so a little glitch there. And we can go down here and we'll just say we'll look at uh, package update one. And you can see here that it opens up in Vim and it's read only. We can check things out. All right, so if we go to my Zish functions, we'll see here that I have a select and go to issue and I just have that called GHI. And it takes this local item variable and it builds up this item variable binding by allowing you to call github issue list uh, and then fcf comes up and what you get back from awk which would be the actual issue number and then opening it up in the web you have here is ghprl which is just opening up a list of all of the GitHub PRs and opening the one you select in NeoVim. And then what we have here is using the new search option that they make available in the latest of the GitHub CLI. Here you can just do a review requested by me. So you can just get the ones that you want that are ones that are waiting for you to review. These are just some quick ones. So if I happen to know the number, so GHive and GHB, or GHB, GHIB for you to open these up. Now, this is all well and good, so let me show you again GHPRR. Okay, and this is just the two here that are awaiting my review, okay, as opposed to GHPRL, which are all of them, okay. 
And then as I showed before, you can open it up in Vim and take a look at it here. Okay, but what we really want is to be able to do this in Vim. So if we go here, we can see that I've created a command called PRS. This is using the FZF API to create an FZF command and accompanying function to bring the GitHub CLI functionality into NeoVim. And all of this is available if you go out here to Junegun's GitHub repos and go to FZF. All this VSF Vim integration is very nicely documented. You can just follow this and you can create this for any list that you want. Okay, so if you just follow through, but here I've done it here for what I want, which is GitHub PR list. Okay, and the sync function is what's critical here. And so what you want is for a sync function, you can either say that you just want sync and that will call whatever you want a Vim command or a function to handle either the whole entire load that you get or individual lines. So if we go here and we find, let's see. Yeah, so you have sync can take a string or it can take a funk ref, which is what we're doing, or you can use sync star, which will take the whole list. Well, in our case, we want to handle just one item in the list at a time. So you can see that I'm calling a function called PRS FZF or PRS FZF. And that's right here. And the name of the variable that I've given is line. And I echo it out here so we can see it. Normally you wouldn't need that in there, but for debugging and for showing this, you can have it. And then we'll split it on the tabs, which you'll see in a second. And then echoing out the ID and then doing what we want. This is all within NeoVim. So you don't have to be out in the terminal and jump into NeoVim. And of course you can always call FCF from a NeoVim terminal but without using some other special hooks, then you'll have an embedded NeoVim instance unless you just get the file name and then you GF it, then it will open as yeah, too much there. It's just easier to do it this way. So if I go like this and I just say PRs and now I get my items right here in NeoVim and we'll check it out. And you see now I get it right here. And this is does not have a lot in it. This is just, that's the content of everything. So if we look at it over here at 53. Uh, let's see. Yeah. That's all it is. My PR. No big deal. All right. So go back in there and take a look. We'll do this again. And I'll show you what's happening here. So this is the line variable that comes in. If you want to look up what a colon means, it's a argument. So line is an argument that comes in. We could have sent everything in, but we just sent in the line from standard in coming back from GHPR list. So let's take a look at this so that we can see what we're dealing with here. So when I want this guy, that comes in there. Okay, but let's look at messages. And you can see here that the message that we were getting was 53 and then this caret i is a tab okay tab 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 so each of those guys is a tab so 53 tab update remit okay so we, that's why here we are splitting on a tab okay and then that's why you also saw that 53 the next thing that we echoed out to messages was the id okay so we don't need these debug lines but I just wanted to show you that you see it's tab delimited. So you need to pull the item that you want off of there. Now you can see here that I'm saying ID and the rest. This is some Vimal syntax where I'm just naming the first thing because that's really all we want and then putting rest in here. And when you want to pluck things off this way or kind of destructure, you have to have the same number of items over here on the left hand side as are in the list. So I have to have the rest in here. I could also 
index into this differently, but this is fine. So Rust is just junk. And then as you saw, we go ahead and we open it in Vim. So really that's all you need to do and you don't need to echo these things out. But that's just to show you. And you can do this with any list. It's not just the GitHub CLI, it's any list. Take a look, you know, make a function that handles each line that you get back from whatever it is. And then you saw it was tab delimited. So then you know you need to split on the tab and get an ID or get whatever you need to make the next call, which in our case is to ghpr view. So you can see here, we're calling ghpr list. But down here, it's ghpr view, which needs the ID. And that's all we wanted. And this is how you build up any FZF command. Some of them you know, are already set up in a format that is easy to handle. And sometimes you have to go ahead and split the line and get what you need and then make a subsequent call. So you can do this with Zish functions or you can do this in Vim so that you don't have to ever leave Vim, which is the goal in life. And so basically that's just a little rundown of how to bring the GitHub CLI into Vim and you know, a little 101 there on how to build FZF commands as you see fit for just about anything coming in on standard in or any command out there. And it's really nice. And again, you can check that out over here by going to the FCF integration page here, FCF Read Me Vim. So I just want to show you that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. There'll be more content coming soon. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.